this time. Give it up for Marie! Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, friends. Peace be upon you. Thank you. With me here today is my friend and colleague from New South Wales Parliament, Jenny Leong, who is like me, an unashamed, an unashamed friend and ally of Palestine. I acknowledge the sovereign owners of the lands that we gathered on, the Gadigal people, and pay my respects to elders past and present. For 235 years, First Nations people have been targeted by violent colonialism, by theft, by dispossession. And I particularly want to acknowledge the harm and hurt that they have been put through over the last some months as conservative forces, as they always do, have run a campaign of fear, racism, and division. The struggle for truth-telling, the struggle for treaties, the struggle for self-determination goes on. The strength of First Nations elders, activists, and leaders is formidable. And we are here in solidarity with them today. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. I do speak today with a profound sense of sorrow, sadness, and a very heavy heart for the innocent civilians who have lost their lives in Gaza and Israel. My thoughts are with those who are mourning the loss of their loved ones. My thoughts are with those who are living the brutal savagery of the war in Gaza, perpetrated by the Israeli government. And I want to make it clear, I want to make it clear, no civilian should be the target of the violence of war. That much is obvious. That much we have said before. Yet, we are asked again and again if we condemn civilian deaths. What an offensive, an abhorrent assumption that we wouldn't. Palestinians, Palestinians know better than most the violence of oppression, of occupation. They have lived under Israeli occupation for 75 years. Woo! Woo! We know. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. We know that there is no place for any kind of racism, discrimination, anti-Semitism, or Islamophobia. You know what else we know, and what else I know, is the importance of telling the truth. And I also know the harsh consequences of telling the truth. But that will not stop me from telling it exactly like it is. I will not be silenced. We will not be silenced. And let me say this, I will not. I will never apologize for demanding an end to occupation, the oppression and the crime of apartheid being committed by the state of Israel. I will never apologize for telling the truth. And the truth is this, the truth is this, the atrocities being committed by Israel are war crimes. They are the very definition of collective punishment that Palestinians have borne for decades now. This is not new. This is not new. In Gaza, civilians are on the precipice of annihilation because the blockade means that they have literally nowhere to go as they have been cut off from water, from electricity, and from other essential supplies. And as Israel continues its deadly bombing of civilians in Gaza, the fate of hundreds of thousands remains uncertain in the besieged Millions. strip. Millions, that's right. Israeli missiles have now been raining down for days on apartment buildings, homes, mosques, refugee camps, and there has been so much harm done to hospitals and schools as well. Health authorities in Gaza said on Friday that around 1,900 Palestinians have been killed and another 7,700 wounded by Israeli strikes that have turned entire buildings into complete rubble. 
and more than half of those who have been killed are women and children. More than one million people in Gaza are being forced to flee to the south of this open air prison as Israeli strikes continue to rain down. There is absolutely no safe place for them, nowhere to go. Yet, disgracefully, the New South Wales police and the New South Wales government have made shameful attempts to silence us. They have made shameful attempts to stop us from coming together to shine a light on the worsening crisis in Gaza. Any attempt, any attempt to silence us is an unjustifiable abuse of political power. We have a right to speak up. We have a right to speak up. We have a right to protest. We have a right to assembly. So thank you so much everyone for being here today. The Palestinian community, the Palestinian community and its supporters and allies have a right to be here like we are today and any other day. And we will not surrender this right. We will not surrender this right to protest. The truth is this, my friends. The truth is this. The erasure of Palestinian suffering is a long-standing policy for both major parties in Australia. The bipartisan consensus on supporting Israel's bombing of Gaza and painting it as defense is neither surprising, sadly, nor new. This enables, this enables and empowers Israel to continue the oppression of Palestinians with impunity. And that is an utter disgrace. And as our government continues to shield the apartheid state of Israel from all accountability, we gather here to tell them that we see through their lies we see through their hypocrisy which landmarks were lit up in the colors of the Palestinian flag when in 2014 Israel carpet bombed civilians from one end of the besieged Gaza Strip to the other with 2,000 Where are the colors of the Palestinian flag when civilians are being killed right now by Israeli bombing? Shame. Confronted with this dehumanization of Palestinians, we gather here today in solidarity with Palestinians who have lived through brutal occupation and oppression for 75 years. It's al Nakba every day for them. That's the situation. And finally, the truth is this. Israel has signaled the genocide of Gaza it is there for everyone to see. This horror is unfolding and political leaders of so-called civilized Western countries who portray themselves as human rights advocates are completely silent. There is deathly silence. They can see justice for everyone, but not for Palestinians. And they should, they should hang their heads in shame forever. But I do want to say, I do want to say to all of you here today, to Palestinians here and around the world, some of us have the courage to speak out. Some of us have the courage to turn up to rallies. Some of us have the courage to demand justice for Palestine. So remember, you are not alone. And there will come a time, there will come a time when there will be peace. And when that time comes, history will not look back kindly on this colonial government supporting another. For violence to end and for peace to prevail, there has to be justice. There has to be justice for Palestine. And that means there has to be an end to the siege and blockade of Gaza. Free, 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 there must be free, free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. There must be an end to the illegal occupation of Palestine. There must be freedom for Palestinians. Yes. 
Stop the war on Gaza. Stop the war on Gaza. Free, free Palestine. Free.